Hey guys, today we're looking at solving an equation that can be written in quadratic form. And these look intimidating, but they're actually pretty simple. So how we'll approach these problems is we know they kind of look like a quadratic equation. And in order to make them look like a quadratic equation, we'll do something called a u substitution. So let's set u equal to x squared. That way when we substitute the u in, we'll get u squared plus 2 times u minus 8. And that's something that's in a quadratic form that we know how to work with. So what we'll do from here is just ACB method or normal factoring. And I'll use the ACB method. So we know A is 1 and C is negative 8, so we get negative 8. And we know that B is 2. So now we'll just go down the factors of 8. So we get 1 and negative 8, but that doesn't add up. 2 and negative 4, we get negative 2, that's pretty close. So just switch the signs. So those are our two middle terms now. So we'll use u squared minus 2u plus 4u minus 8. From there, we'll just factor by grouping. So we'll bring out a u, and we get a u minus 2 left over we'll bring out a 4 in the second one. We get u minus 2 again. Since these two are the same, we know we did it right. So we'll have u plus 4 times u minus 2. Now, we're almost done, but we need to substitute the u back in since we substitute the x squared out. So we get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 2. And if we want to find the solutions, we just set both of these equal to zero. So we'll get x squared plus 4 equals zero. If we solve for x, we get x squared equals negative 4. We know squared terms can't be negative, so this one can't be a solution. And then for the second part, we get x squared equals 2. And then we'll just take the square root of both sides. So we get x equals plus or minus square root of 2.